So EcoFlow have just released the new River 2 power stations and they've very kind of sent us in one of the models here to take a look at. Now, not so long ago on the channel, we reviewed the Anchor 521 power station and we really did like that power station. But a few months have passed and technology moves on quickly. So we're gonna quickly look at this one tonight and see where this one differs from the older Anchor 521 that we've previously reviewed. So full disclosure, EcoFlow have sent us this in to take a look at, but they're not looking over our review and all the opinions in this review are our own. So in case you're not familiar with these sort of devices, what is the EcoFlow River 2? This is a large capacity charging station that can charge a multiple of devices simultaneously, kind of like a power bank on steroids. This has got a 256 watt hour capacity. And if that's not even big enough for you, EcoFlow have a large range of these devices that go right up to 768 watt hour battery. And one of the big advantage of the River 2 range is that you can actually charge this device in about an hour. Now, compared to the Anchor 521 that we reviewed previously, that took two and a half hours, and that was pretty quick for these power stations. Now, EcoFlow have used decent batteries in these devices using the lithium ion LiFoPo 4 cells that are good for about 3,000 battery charges or up to about 10 years worth of use. So if you are investing in one of these devices, it's nice to know that you can get some good life out of this machine. And the possibilities of one of these devices is absolutely endless. You could take it away on a camping trip for a weekend, or maybe you're going sailing, you need to charge all your devices while you're out and about. Maybe you're going on a nice long road trip, or maybe it's just a, a power outage or a blackout. This will get you by. And what's so special about this device with the River 2 range is the actual AC outlet on this model is rated at 300 watts with up to 600 watts of output with the X-Boost technology, meaning that this device can be used for heavier duty items that you wouldn't expect from a power station, maybe a hairdryer, pumping up your car tires, anything that can take up to 600 watts of electricity this device can power it. And another little feature that this device has that many other power stations don't, is it can also be used as an EPS, basically a UPS, where you keep it plugged in, and then you plug your PC into this actual device. Then if you have a power outage, it just rolls over to the battery on this device, keeping your PC running. And EcoFlow state that this has a less than 30 milliseconds failover for when that power outage happens. Now let's take a quick look at the ports, and we're gonna start with the output. So from the left, the very first port is a cigarette lighter port. So maybe you want to use your car tire pump straight into there, up to 100 watts of output from this port. We've got a nice handy little button below, which enables or disables the actual port. Now that is quite useful because maybe you want to plug something into these where they do take a lot of power, but you don't want them on all the time. You can then disable that actual port itself to stop it from draining the battery. Now, as we move along from the ports, we've got two USB-A ports that provide up to 12 watts, so maybe you want to charge your phone or an iPad. And in the middle, we've got a USB-C port which provides up to 60 watts of power delivery, so you can even charge up to a laptop or a MacBook direct from this port. And another nifty feature of the USB-C is you can actually use it as an input to charge this device if you don't want to plug it into the mains, and that can take 60 watts into this device to charge it. Now moving up to the far right, we're in the UK, so you can see we've got our three pin plug here, but this is your standard AC port. If you buy it in a different region, you will get your plug adapter on the front. And again, we've got the same switch underneath to enable or disable that port so you're not draining the battery when it's not in use. Now this is the port I mentioned that gives you 300 watts continuous power, but can boost up to 600 watts for some heavy duty items. Now at 600 watts, you are gonna drain this battery pretty fast though. Now if we look around the back of the device, this is where we've got the input ports. And we'll start from the left hand side, you'll see we've got a kettle port. This is the port that you're gonna use for that one hour fast charge. So that's really handy. You wanna get this up and running, on the go, plug it straight into here, within an hour, done and dusted, you're fully charged. Then further over here, we've got just a two pin. And that is for either your car adapter. So you plug the two pin into the power bank, plug this into your car cigarette lighter, and then you can charge it from your vehicle while you're out on the road. Or if you've got the solar panel kit, you plug your solar panels into here, and the solar panels will charge it within three to six hours, depending on how bright it is on the day. So really handy if you're out and about camping and you've got no other power source, plug in your solar panels, leave them going for an afternoon, this is fully charged and so are all your devices. Okay, so now let's quickly look at the display. And one of the lovely features of this device over many of the other power stations that we've used is the excellent display we've got on the front. Now the Anchor 521 power station that we looked at, that also had a display, but it was very, very basic. This gives us much more information and much more useful information. First thing first, we've got the remaining time that's left. Once you start using this device, it calculates how long this device will last. 
So it will work out the power draw and put this to hours or minutes accordingly. In the middle here, with this like this little circle with a number in the middle, that's the battery power that is left on the device. If you look over to the right, we've got the inputs and the outputs in watts. So if you're charging the device, it will tell you at the top in watts how fast it's charging. And if you're using this device to power your items, it will tell you how many watts those items are drawing. This can be incredibly handy, not only to know how much power your devices are actually using, but also it gives you an idea of how fast it's going to deplete the battery. And lastly, there's a little fan symbol that shows you when the fan is running. Now underneath, we've got a little LED that flashes that tells you that it's, it's actually on. And then below that, we've got a power button. Now the display will turn itself off after a few seconds to save itself power. A quick press will put it off or back on again if you want to turn that on or off. And you hold down to actually shut the device off. You see it say off there. And that actually puts it in a completely off state so you're not draining the battery with the LED. So now let's take a quick look around the device. And the first thing I want to talk about is the actual build quality. This is absolutely rock solid. Uh, it's plastics throughout, but there's no creak, feels great. At the bottom, they've got some solid rubber feet. So when you put it on your desk, it's not going to slip around. Weight wise, this comes in at 3.5 kilograms or 7.7 .7 pounds. So a couple hundred grams lighter than the anchor station that we previously looked at. So it's nice to see that they've reduced that weight. And they've also given us a very useful carry handle at the back. So you can just quickly pick it up and carry it around. Because it's 7.7 .7 pounds, this is going to be quite a weight to be carrying it around. So you want a nice, easy way to carry it. Now, as we look to the back, you can see we've got ventilation here. And this is where the fan is. I mentioned earlier on on the display, when you're charging it, the fan symbol comes on. Because we have this fan pumping any warm air out the back of the device. Now, the reason for that is they need to keep the cells cool, especially when they're fast charging it. Now, what I've found so far, when you charge it with the USB-C or the solar panel, the fan only ramps up a little way, it's not too obtrusive. But when you're charging it with the kettle lead up to 360 watts input into this device, that's going to generate some heat. And therefore, it does spin up the fan at quite a high RPM to eject that heat out of the device to keep these cells cool. Now, obviously, keeping the cells cool means this device will last longer. But the downside of that is there is going to be some fan noise. And that may be bothersome to some. So if you're planning on using this and having it on your desk whilst you're charging it, it may annoy you. You may want to just put it off to the side. And that is probably the only downside I've found with this product so far. So what do you get in the box with this device? Well, obviously, the device itself. Uh, in the UK, we get our kettle lead with the UK plug. But you'll get the same plug for your region. So you can actually charge this device. We're going to get the cable so that you can plug it into your car cigarette lighter to charge this device. And if you buy the solar panel kits, you obviously get the solar panel and the panel case and the same plug to plug into the back to charge this device. And we also get an instruction manual that's pretty hefty with a lot of information in it and the warranty card and contact information. And that reminds me, you get a good five years warranty. So if you're investing in one of these devices, you know you're covered for five years of the use of this device. So that just brings me on to the conclusion then. And what can I say, but this has been an absolutely fantastic device. If you regularly experience power outages, or you're off on holiday, camping, sailing, anywhere where you don't have a lot of power, this is invaluable. It's so handy. You're going to power any of your devices up to 600 watts. That's incredible for a power station like this. And a nice array of ports so you can charge a number of devices at the same time. All the while having great information of how much energy you're taking from this device. And the fact that you can use the solar panels to actually keep this thing charged itself when you're out and about and you don't have access to AC mains, that's the icing on the cake. And it's also nice to see how far things have come over the last few years. Not long ago, we reviewed the Anchor, and that was a great product, but for actually less than the Anchor, this has so many nice new features. A better display, fast charging in one hour, it's lighter, and it can boost up to that 600 watts. The Anchor could only do 200, so that's a massive difference, making this a really great addition to your mobile life. Now, as usual, if you've got any thoughts on this device, pop it in the comments section down below and I will get back to you. And there will be links for this product in the description if you do want to pick one of these up yourself. And lastly, thanks for watching.